All right, welcome. So today we're gonna work through in this video uh, section six. We're gonna we're gonna do the imports and um, we're gonna work through the uh, credit cards and the credit card reconciliation. Okay. So first, what we need when we do this is we're going to need to upload the credit card transaction. So it's similar to uploading um, uh, any of the like checking information in that. You can also sync credit card. Um, accounts as well if you want to do that more on a live basis right but um, let's go ahead and go to banking here so banking is kind of our main area that we're working out here right so we see here we just have our checking uh, in here we do not have any um, items that are from our credit card yet and so we need to go up to our gearbox on the top right and under tools is import data and then we're going to import bank data. Okay, so we're going to be able to do that right there. First. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and grab my, the file that I need with my credit card data in it. So I'm going to go to Canvas. In Canvas, in your modules, uh, uh, for section six, there should be uh, this file. So it's going to be credit card transactions, bank import. So we'll go ahead and click on that. What that's going to do, it'll bring up a viewable file. You'll be able to see it here. It's a CSV file, and you'll see this is all the data we're going to import here, right? So it has a header on top, uh, date, transaction, name, description, all those. Uh, spent is this, that's going to be our actual um, amounts, right, in there. So, so in order to actually download this, I'm working in the Chrome browser. So I'm going to click on this link above here, and it's going to start the download for me. And I'll see it down here on the bottom left. Uh, that is actually in my downloads folder. So let's go find that. So I'm going to go back to QuickBooks here. I'm going to do select files is one way to do it. You can also, if you have the file open, the file explorer, you can just drag and drop it like this, right? So you can just go in and, and drop it in there. See, I'm dragging it in here. So that would work as well, or I can click open. So either way works. Um, we just need to make sure to select that credit card file. And there it is. Okay, then we go ahead and click continue. So this is going to set it up. We're going to uh, point it in the right direction. So this is where we're going to download it to. Which account is it going to be connected to? So this is our credit card. Click continue. And then we just need to make sure everything is mapped out. So we're, uh, we have our CSV file format. We have what QuickBook, QuickBook wants. And so we just need to make sure everything's mapped so it the data connects into the right fields into QuickBooks. Um, so first we've got to set our date format. So it's going to be this date right here with the forward slashes in it. And we've got uh, automatically it tries to find uh, fields in your file that match up with things in, in QuickBooks that, that it needs. So our date matches up. It automatically chose that. Our description, it looks good. Um, this is going to be our amount. It's going to be column seven spent on there. And then we click continue. This is all of our data here. We can click the top box. That's going to select everything. Yeah, and everything we're going to um, import all of this. So we're going to do it all. So click continue. That'll be 29 uh, transactions on there that we're going to we're going to import. So click yes. And there it is. So it is imported. So we'll see that now, right? So we have our credit card up here. So if we select it, so our checking, right? Whichever one we're working on, we can click on it. It'll kind of, it'll filter those transactions and let us kind of work on those transactions there and, and view them and go through them. Um, so these we have to review. So we're gonna go through the review. We see here um, that we have 29 for review, none categorized, none excluded. So the review right now, we're going to bring those up, and those will be all the things that we uh, imported. Okay. You can, uh, over in checking, for example, we already imported those, so we don't have any to review, but we do have them categorized there, right? So if we've already reviewed them and added them in um, to the system, then they're going to be in categorized. So let's go back to credit card. None are categorized yet, but there are 29 to review. So we're going to go through those and review them. And really what we need to 
need to do when we review them is we need to open them up, look at them, and make sure that uh, our payee vendor information is correct. We have uh, a match on the expense account, which account it's going to. And if there's any special transaction, we also need to address those. So I'm going to go through here. Um, if you need to look at any additional fields, right? So these are the ones that are laid out here. If you need to include any additional fields, that's going to be in our gearbox over on the right. You can either include additional fields or actually uncheck the box and it will um, exclude that field, right? And of what you're looking for. So if yours does, uh, the ones that we were looking at before, let's see here. These um, don't match up exactly. Uh, well, they're, they're a little different, right? So the way I have it on mine, it's a little different and that's just because of the fields I have selected. So, so just so you know, if you wanna match yours up with mine or what the, the student uh, manual has, you can mess with these right here in the gearbox, okay? Uh, you can also, if you don't see them all on one page, you can also select um, more data, right, of the page size and, and be able to view more on there if you want to as well. Uh, I think right now I can see everything. So, um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and go down. So our dates as well, right, we can hit any of these uh, column headers at the top if we want to resort things, so we can resort it that way. And uh, we can also filter uh, using these buttons up here. So we can filter out what we're looking for if we're looking for something specific we want, we want to work with. So let's do the first one here. This is going to match up with the, uh, there is a, um, a, a layout, a table with all the data on it in the student manual. So you can use that table to make sure that you have all of the vendor names and all of the categories, the accounts matched up with with what you're supposed to be doing there. So so we'll just go down through here and do these. You click on one and it expands. So in the expanded view, we're looking again. We're making sure we have the right date on the item we're working with. So some of these go from month to month, right? So this is one that's in January 5th, right? So some of them are reoccurring and so you need to make sure you know which month you're working on and, and exactly which uh, transaction. So dues and subscription, it looks like uh, this one is actually supposed to be a different number. Uh, this one's supposed to be conferences. So it's supposed to be, you can key in the number here. So this is going to be 50,100 and it'll come up. So conferences on there. So, because it's a conference, we can see that in the detail as well. So, Dream Virtual Conference. And so, once everything matches up with what we want, then we can go ahead and click Add. And that'll categorize it, make sure it's in there. Um, let's see, let's keep going here. So, this is Computer Services, this is Dues and Subscriptions. Uh, we need to also make sure we have the. Uh, correct vendor selected there. So there's our vendor. We selected that. Uh, we need to make sure we have the right account and that's the account that we need to match up. Again, this is all off the spreadsheet, uh, the kind of the table in. Uh, I, I think right, right now I'm looking at it's 210 is what page it's on in the case studies part of section six in the manual. So when I can go ahead and add that, so I'm going to go ahead and work down through all these. I'll speed the video up so you can kind of see me work down through them and what I'm doing. If there's any one that comes up that's kind of a special case, I may slow the video down so you can kind of see it. So um, here we go. So just so you know, 
um, if this pops up, it wants you to create a rule, right, for for this. Uh, I would I would kind of at least at first when you're working through this, not do the auto add. So don't activate the auto add. Um, that might uh, pull some things in that you don't want to have just automatically pulled. You might want to review it at least when we're doing this uh, case study. So in in your business as you're doing it right the real business in real life as you get more comfortable with things and you you really kind of know what you're doing you can do an auto add and it'll automatically go through so you don't even have to review it um, but there are some risks in that a little bit so anyways once you do that you go ahead and you can create the rule if you want to uh, but I would not do auto add at this time So just from this, just so you know, right? So as I'm looking at this, I can expand it if I want to look at the detail, but I can also see the payee here and I know that the match is already there as well. So I can maybe not even have to expand it uh, sometimes as I'm going through and comparing to make sure I have it. I can just click add. If I know that that's correct, um, I don't necessarily need to expand it every time. Okay, so now I've, I've been able to go and review all of these and add them in. And so if I want to look at them or if I need to edit any, um, I can go in and edit them here, undo, re-review them, and put them back in as they're supposed to be. So that's how they are currently. So now what I want to do on my next uh, deal is I want to actually go to, through and uh, do the reconciliation for the credit cards. So to reconcile the credit cards, there's a couple ways to get to the reconciliation. One's down here on the left in accounting. We can go to reconcile, or we can go up top to the gearbox up on the top right, and we can go into reconcile there as well. So either one will get you to the same screen. Okay, and so we left off reconciling savings. Our checking and savings are reconciled for January, February, March. Typically, you're going to want to do this reconciliation monthly. So as you go along, we're doing it as a batch, uh, January, February, March. Uh, I would suggest most businesses do it monthly at least, right, to do those. Uh, those don't, don't uh, wait too long. So we're going to do our uh, credit card reconciliation. There it is. And what we need to put in here is the ending balance. We're going to have a beginning balance of zero because this is brand new, right? So we're going to start off with the beginning balance of zero, but our ending balance is going to be uh, $12,280.79. And our ending date, the reconciliation for credit cards is just a little bit different than the bank statement. So it's not going to be necessarily at the end of the month. Uh, our end date actually is going to be, yeah, let's type it out here, uh, it's going to be January 20th, 2025. So we're going to be ending our credit card cycle is ending on the 20th of every month. That's our statement date. So we're going to start the reconciliation. And it looks like it is good. So we're just making sure we're reconciling, right? So all the items that I have in January are going to add up to that uh, balance that I got on my statement, right? And so um, the difference is zero. So that's perfect. So we can go ahead and click finish now and do the next month. Click done. Okay, so now for our next month, we're going to put our ending balance for this one. This one will be for February. So it's going to be $11,530.27. And the ending date will be February 20th, 2025. Start reconciling. Uh, so it looks like 
we have this one is not selected so this is actually the payment that we make out of our checking account so that one's not selected at first but when we do select it then we reconcile so that looks great that looks like um, that looks like we are set on there and so we reconcile so we're good to go we can go finish now and move on to March okay so our March balance is going to be and this comes off our statement so a lot of times you're going to have your credit card statement if you have a paper one mailed to you or you're going to look online and find your credit card statement a lot of times they'll send you uh, an email as well or, or a text with a link to open up your statement so our balance is going to be eleven thousand one hundred ninety dollars and twenty one cents uh, our date on this one is going to be March 20th 2025 okay and it's kind of similar to the last one so we got the payment there for it that's going to help us reconcile so we're going to we're going to go ahead and select that and it looks like we reconcile so we can go ahead and select finish now all right so we're good to go so we are reconciled with all of our checking our savings and our credit cards now we're going to go ahead and uh, on our next video we're going to run some reports that we need for this chapter and we will be good to go uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me email me uh, or call me up and I can uh, help you out. Thanks. Bye.